if you take a couple of minutes and watch my video. The power of a photo and a family willing to travel from Utah all the way to the far side of the globe to a little girl who had no idea they were coming to save her from something that was about to happen. It's part of our joint mission with the Gates Foundation to bring stories of all the ways we can save a life around the world. ABC's Abby Boudreau traveled to the Ukraine to show what a difference an outstretched hand can make. Tucked away in an orphanage on the other side of the world, this little Ukrainian girl had no idea an American family was about to save her life. Time was running out for Corrine, a four-year-old with Down syndrome. She was months away from being sent to an adult mental institution to live out the rest of her life. A fate that awaits most four and five-year-olds with Down syndrome in this Eastern European country. This is her life at stake. Chris and Keisha Cox of Utah knew the enormous potential of children with special needs. Their youngest, Bree, also has Down syndrome. After they saw this picture of Corrine online, the Coxes knew they had a mission and they had to move fast. To see for ourselves what children like Corrine face if they aren't adopted in time, ABC News traveled deep inside rural Ukraine, where we got unprecedented access inside some of the country's orphanages and mental institutions. We found young children with Down syndrome living among the severely mentally ill. At this institution for girls, ages 5 to 35, we met 7-year-old Masha. I quickly learned all she really wanted was a mom to call her own. If she's not adopted, she will spend the rest of her life here. We sat down with Ukraine's deputy head of the unit for child adoption and child rights protection. She denies that children with Down syndrome are living in adult mental institutions. But we told her about what we saw. We have uh, to fix it. Chris and Keisha Cox learned about the plight of Ukraine's children with Down syndrome with the help of a website called Reese's Rainbow. It's helped American families adopt hundreds of children like Corrine. Her eyes were really what spoke to us first. We just knew that she was saying, you're my mom and you're my dad and you're supposed to come get me. So the Coxes made the 6,000 mile journey to Ukraine. The second she walked through that door, it was, we just knew that the journey we were on is, you know, is where we were supposed to be. What was it like when she hugged you? It was exactly what I needed. The Coxes spent 32 days in Ukraine with their new daughter, who they renamed Mia. Who is this? It's Papa? Papa? Papa. Papa. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> then finally, they walked out of her orphanage, hand in hand, as she looked back one last time at the life she was leaving behind. It was time to make the long journey home to Utah. She was worth something now, and you could see it in her eyes. Hello. Oh my God, how are you? We visited one month later. Hi. Oh. Mia's learning some sign language. What's this? Shoes. Good job. And for the first time, she's going to school. Alongside her sister, and new best friend, Brie. I love you, have fun. What do you hope for her? That she just gets to be happy and she doesn't have to be in a little white room hidden away because of an extra chromosome. And what is next for Mia, little Mia? Well, now she will have a chance to reach her greatest potential. She'll be able to go to school, she could get a job, she will get a job. And you know what, one of these days she may even have her own family to call her own. So, you know, this is, no, the sky's the limit for this little one. And the website is Reese's Rainbow. It is Reese's Rainbow. We have so much more on ABC.com, all about the charities and what they're doing to help these little, little kids. Okay, Abby, thank you. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to watch my video. Here's what I'm trying to do. Last year, my school raised over $5,000 for Reese's Rainbow. But $5,000 doesn't go that far when you're trying to adopt a child. This year at my school, Hall Creek Elementary, we're raising money for two kids at Reese's Rainbow, Micah and Dana. This year we want to do more, and with your help, hopefully a lot more. We want to raise $30,000. I know that sounds like a lot. It's only 3,000 people giving $10 each, but don't feel like you only have to give $10.
All you've got to do is hit the donate here button right here. Anything you can afford to do, I'm sure Mike and Dana would really appreciate. Thank you.